Welcome to the final chapter of our series on the Roman Empire, the decline and fall. In this episode, we will explore the factors that led to the gradual decline and eventual collapse of one of the greatest empires in human history. Economic Challenges By the 3rd century CE, the Roman Empire faced significant economic challenges. Inflation and taxation had led to social unrest, and the empire struggled to maintain its finances. The government was often corrupt, with officials embezzling funds and engaging in bribery. As a result, the empire faced significant financial difficulties, which in turn had a major impact on its military and social structures. Military overstretch One of the biggest challenges facing the Roman Empire was military overstretch. As the empire grew, it became increasingly difficult to maintain its vast territories and borders. The military was often stretched thin, and soldiers were forced to serve for long periods away from their families. This led to low morale and a decline in the effectiveness of the Roman army. One of the most significant events in the fall of the Roman Empire was the sack of Rome in 410 CE by the Visigoths, led by their king Alaric. This was the first time in over 800 years that the city of Rome had been sacked, and it had a profound psychological impact on the Roman people. The empire never fully recovered from this blow, and it was one of the factors that contributed to the eventual collapse of the Western Roman Empire. Civil Unrest The Roman Empire also faced significant civil unrest. The gap between the rich and the poor grew wider, and social inequality became more pronounced. Slavery was widespread, and many people were forced to work in terrible conditions. As a result, there were often protests and uprisings, which further weakened the empire. Barbarian invasions, external pressures also contributed to the decline of the Roman Empire. Invasions by barbarian tribes, such as the Visigoths and Vandals, put significant pressure on the empire's borders. The Roman army was often unable to repel these invasions, and as a result, many regions of the empire fell to these groups. The fall of the Western Roman Empire by the 5th century CE, the Western Roman Empire had collapsed entirely. Rome was sacked by the Visigoths in 410 CE, and the last Roman Emperor, Romulus Augustus, was deposed in 476 CE. The empire had become too weak and fragmented to maintain its power, and it was replaced by a variety of smaller kingdoms and states. The Legacy of the Roman Empire Despite the collapse of the Western Roman Empire, the Eastern Roman Empire, also known as the Byzantine Empire, continued to thrive for centuries. It preserved many of the traditions and institutions of the Roman Empire, and its influence can be seen in the art, literature, and architecture of the medieval period. Today, the legacy of the Roman Empire can be seen in the legal systems, languages, and cultural traditions of Western civilization. In the end, the Roman Empire fell not because of one single cause, but because of a combination of factors. The military overstretch, political instability, corruption, and external threats all played a role in the empire's decline and eventual collapse. However, even after the fall of the Western Roman Empire, the Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantine Empire, continued to thrive for centuries, preserving many of the traditions and institutions of the Roman Empire. And that concludes our series on the Roman Empire. From its humble beginnings as a small city-state to its transformation into a vast empire that dominated the Mediterranean world, the Roman Empire left a lasting legacy that continues to influence Western civilization today. Thank you for watching this three-part series on the Roman Empire. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to our channel and sharing it with your friends and family. Your support means a lot to us and helps us to create more educational content. In our next series, we'll be exploring the fascinating history of the Egyptian Empire, from its early dynastic period to the height of its power under pharaohs such as Ramses II. Join us as we uncover the mysteries of this ancient civilization and delve into its art, culture, and politics. Thank you again for your support, and we look forward to bringing you more engaging content in the future.